Hi guys, so for today's video, I have kind of a random collective haul. A couple things that I've been picking up over the last couple weeks. And I have a Skims video coming. It's on the new Sleep collection that released a few weeks ago and then the Neon collection. But for some reason, the Neon stuff is taking like forever to get here. It said it was supposed to be here today, Saturday the 30th but now they put it off till November 2nd. So I'm waiting on that. Anyways, let's just go ahead and get right on into what I've been collecting over the last couple weeks. <laughs> okay, so I got these pants from Buff Bunny's most recent. This was from the Mad Scientist drop. I thought that these were super cute and my type of color, my type of vibe, and I just needed to have them. So this is the, I do have a pair of these already in, I forget what the color is, but it's like a golden yellow type color. But these are these sweatpants and the shade is, I think it's called Death Before Decaf, but it's this color sweatpant and it is just, they are so cute and they are, they're like a jogger style. So they, they cut down at the bottom and I got an extra small because I got an extra small on my other pair but they said that these were especially oversized this year and the extra, extra small, I believe was already sold out. So I did go ahead and get an extra small. And when I roll them over, I think these are gonna be, they're gonna be fine, but I love this color. And I got these because my mother-in-law got me this hoodie, this North Face hoodie. And I'm absolutely obsessed with it because it's like, the cream color and I love it and it's so soft and I've wanted a North Face hoodie for like years and so she bought this for me and I just thought that these pants were gonna like I don't know how well it's gonna like translate on camera but I just thought that this was like totally the cutest little vibe ever and gave me all the feels and I picked up a couple other things from Lululemon I may have to email them because I ordered these right here. I ordered these aligns. These are in the shade red Merlot and these are the 28 inch. I've said this in my other videos. I like to get the 28 inch because I don't like how like skinny my calves are. And so when I wear the this, they kind of bunch up a little bit and it just makes me feel a little bit more secure with the way my legs look. But anyways, these are in a size two. I do have another video on my channel of me trying on these trying on the aligns. So I'll do it again in future videos, but just for right now, I'm just gonna show you what I got. These are in the shade Red Merlot and my friend Jessica always sent me pictures wearing these, wearing like a black t-shirt and black socks. And I had already wanted these for the longest time, but every time I saw her wearing these with black, I was like, okay, I, I, I need these now. I want these so bad. And so finally I ordered them. But with this order, I picked up one of their keychains it's like the little, it's the Lulu symbol, but I got the black leather one because I plan on getting, I told my husband I want the, it's the YSL little zipper car pouch keychain thing. And I think that that with the little black leather Lulu keychain will just look so cute. So I ordered that, but they, it was supposed to come with this, but they split it up. And these came like four days ago and I'm still waiting on the keychain. So I'm not sure what's going on, but not that any of y'all needed to know that, but I did buy a keychain that was supposed to come with this. But here's these. And then also, I bit the bullet and I did get the cob around because I just could not pass this color up. I have to show you. So this is the copper brown fits everybody scoop neck bra from Skims. And this is the leggings. They are not the exact same, but they are pretty darn close. And I think wearing this is like a crop top with these and like a cute little jacket over it or like a flannel shirt is just a whole vibe. And I love it so much. So I had to get these. Now, the thing is they only had these in a size zero. These fit almost exactly. These are the 28 inch as well. These fit almost exactly like this, the size two does. I don't have an issue with these. And I know that some people have said don't size down. Anyways, I sized down to a zero because it was all that they had left. And I was like, worst case scenario, I'll return them if they don't fit. A size zero fits perfectly fine. I love them. And I'm so glad that I have them. <laughs> then 
Recently, Jaclyn Hill was talking on her stories about this brand called, is it pronounced Dibs? I think it's pronounced Dibs. And she was talking about this little product right here. And when she talked about it, I immediately got on there and I ordered it. So I'm really excited about this. This is the Desert Island Duo. And I got mine in the shade four, which is the shade that Jacqueline was using. And let's see, it's a blush and a bronzer. So this is what the packaging looks like. I love it. I think it is so cute. And you have the blush shade on one end. And then you have, sorry if you can hear my kid. Then you have the bronzer shade on the other. And I actually want to go ahead and swatch this because I really want to see what this looks like. So let's see here. Oh, it feels so creamy. Oh my God. I love this already. I can tell. I cannot wait to use this. I wanted to use it today, but then I also wanted to kind of keep it looking like fresh for the video. So, oh my God, this is so pretty. Okay. So this is what that looks like. This is in the shade four. It's the blush is not so basic and the bronzer, bron bronzer, bronzer is iced chai. So I think that on my skin, those look absolutely beautiful. And I couldn't really tell because Jacqueline did have a filter over her face when she was talking about it. So it did look really pretty on her skin, but I, I still couldn't really tell. So I was kind of taking a shot with getting this on how it was going to look in person. But like that just looks so stinking pretty and I cannot wait to wear this so again that is from the brand dibs if y'all want to go check them out okay and then i have this little box right here which this is from morphe they were having a i might still be going on i'm not 100 positive but they were having a thing called super sale where you got like 50 percent off and they were doing it on jacqueline's products so i immediately hopped on there and ordered a couple things that I had had my eye on but wasn't really like I could have waited till there was a sale and I'm glad that I did because I got all this stuff for 50% off so I picked up the Jaclyn cream bronzer in the shade beachy I went back and forth on this because I wasn't really sure what shade to get but then I watched Babs Beauty, Babs Beauty swatch them and beachy is the one that looked like it was going to be the best for me so what that looks like and I want to swatch this best part about having a baby is you've always got wet wipes around Ooh, I like the texture of this okay I'm a little scared because I feel like this stuff is going to be extremely orange so I may have to like work with it but here it is on my finger oh okay it might not be it kind of blended almost right into my hand so you can see the difference between this but this feels like it's kind of like a powder now whereas this is full-blown a cream stick so that's beachy we'll have to see how that appears on my actual face and uh, yeah so you can see how that looks okay and then I was super excited about this this is her Jaclyn Cosmetics Luminous Rouge blush this is in the shade love poem and I am so excited about these blushes especially for summer honestly just year round because I love like everything looking like light and airy and luminous and it kind of goes with my shirt Okay, I put some on my finger, so let's see here. But that's the shade Love po Poem right there. It's super, super pretty. And I think for summer especially, I know summer's over, like what am I doing? But yeah, I think that a lot of these are gonna be so pretty for summer. That's what I keep imagining. Last thing that I picked up was, I'm not a blush person. I've said that in so many of my videos, especially most of my makeup videos. But I'm just not a blush person. It's like the last thing on my mind. I don't care about it. I'm more about like a flawless looking base and super like natural highlight and, and bronzer. Blush is kind of always just on the back burner for me. I have 
Like, besides my Hourglass palette, I have two blushes, two single blushes. I have a Vive blush and a KKW Beauty blush, and that's it. So, anyways, I bought this because I thought that it was really pretty, and I had my eye on it since she released it, but once again, I didn't really want to pay full price for it because I'm not a blush person, but I kept seeing it, and I once I saw 20% off or 50% off, I was like, yes, which one is this? Rouge Romance. I don't remember. No, that's what the. This one has a different name. This is the warm palette. Let me just put it that way. This is the warm palette. So anyways, this is what it looks like as if y'all haven't seen it over a thousand times, but I'm so obsessed and especially Tea Room. I love a good orange blush. I love like looking sunburnt. So bronzed and sunburnt is like my type of gig. So that's why I was so excited to get this one because it's got all those types of tones. So now I ordered a couple things from Ulta. This came for free with one of my orders. It's this Lancome uh, Genifique Hydro Gel Melting Mask. I, I It was free with an order. And then I was needing mascara and Ulta, like was it last weekend? or the week before, they were having a, like five times the points on mascara. I like to get mini bottles because I don't wear mascara that often, so I didn't want to pay full price for a full bottle because I don't want it to dry out and go bad. So I love minis though, because I like the way that mini mascaras perform better than the way that full-size mascaras. Also, because I have small hands, I feel like it's easier to control the wand when I have I, I don't know, y'all tell me if y'all feel the same way. But yeah, so anyways, I've really been wanting to try this. This is, I don't know how you pronounce that, but this is the Lamco Mascara, the Lash Lifting Volumizing Mascara that they just recently, I think recently came out with. I don't think it's that old. So I think this is why I got that mask for free because if you made a purchase of Lancome, they sent you that mask. But anyways, so I got that. And then I picked up, this is one of my all-time favorite mascaras. I love this mascara so much. This is the Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash. This is their original one, the not the like tubing mascara. So yeah, I picked up these once again because I need a mascara five times the points. And I want, I like to layer my mascara. So I got two minis for the same price as one full size. So think about it next time. Also, for those of you that don't know, when you look at the sizing, especially on this one, it is a dollar cheaper, I think. It's either a dollar cheaper or a dollar more. My kid is like screaming out there. I don't know what he's doing. My husband's baking cookies, so he's like in there screaming. And anyways, uh, if you buy two of these, you actually, two minis, you get more product in the two minis for like a dollar less. Than you do in the full size bottle. I don't know if anybody's ever paid attention to that, but it's either a dollar less or a dollar more. But either way, you get more product for like not for like the same amount of money. So just keep that in mind next time you might be purchasing this. Then if you follow me on Instagram, you saw me posting about this. Oh my god, this is so pretty, guys. So this is the Jaclyn Cosmetics Pout Spoken Liquid Lipstick and Lip Liner Duo, and this is in the shade Bow. And I am going to wear this all throughout the holidays. I did, I could not wait on this one. Everything else I've been waiting on, but this I I just had to try on and had to take pictures in. And once again, if you follow me on Instagram, then you already saw them. And I got quite a few people messaging me saying I'm on my way to Ulta right now to buy this. So if if you did buy it, let me know how you like it because I love it and my husband liked it on me and even my 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 toddler he'll be four in November he kept going mommy I love your lips your lips look so pretty and I was just like thank you so even he liked it it's toddler approved so anyways here's the liner you can see I've already uh already used it so let me just give you guys a swatch this does lean more pink kind of if y'all can hear that I'm so sorry I don't know what that is I'm gonna make sure and try and turn my background sound off but so here is the pretty little bottle. I probably should show you all that. I'm obsessed with this bottle, but it is more, it on my lips, it does not look pink, but this does look more pink based, I guess. Magenta, if you can see, kind of looks like blood on my hand, but it is like, 
the perfect red and when it dried down on my lips it looked like velvet and I'm absolutely obsessed and I want to get the shade flannel I think that shade looks they all actually look very very pretty but flannel is the one that was calling my name up next after I tried this one but yeah I highly recommend this and I mean it is a liquid lipstick so for me I wore it for about four or five hours the day the first day that I tried it and I ate through it, I drank through it. And then about the four hour mark, I did feel like it was gonna, like it was getting dry and kind of uh, crumbly, like I could feel it, but it wasn't anything unbearable. And if I just added a lip gloss or just touched up with this, it was perfectly fine. So I, I don't know if you're gonna be picky about that type of thing. That is just a warning that this does do that, but it did take quite a few hours. Like, and I was kissing on my baby and it wasn't transferring. And so, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm just obsessed with this little combo. <laughs> okay, and then this, I have a soft spot for Lorac. I don't know why. I just, I love that brand. I've always loved that brand. And I just, I feel like they don't get enough hype. I don't know why, but they don't release stuff all the time. So when they do, I get pretty excited. So they randomly showed this on their Instagram. This is the Fairy Tale Forest palette. They released this in like three minis or something like that on Ulta. And I immediately went and bought this palette with the red liquid lip because I'd wanted that. And then this palette came out and I was like, heck yeah, this palette is like $35, which to me compared to what's on the market is not a bad price. And when I saw that, I was like, heck yeah. So anyways, this is what the packaging looks like. It's that soft matte feel. It's not very big. I love the size of this palette. And it says fairy tale forest in green right there. And then you've got the little paper with the names. And then this is the palette. And I just love these shades so much. I'm not, as you can see, like, I don't know if you can tell, I don't like to wear shimmer a lot on the lid. I'm literally like, I love just matte blending mattes and then using like a highlighter or something on the inner corner and the brow bone. It's just, it's what I like to do. But when I saw this, I feel like a lot of these shades can be used as like inner corner shades. And then also if I ever want to deepen it up or pop something on the center, like a halo eye, then I've got these, but also like this, these six on the end here. Like, I love how, like, if you look, the threes going down, they're just so pretty. And I love the colors of the mattes. So I'm gonna turn my light down a little bit. So hopefully y'all can see, but it's got a nice little mirror in there. So yeah, anyways, I know it's kind of random, but I got my friend in Scotland one too, because she was like, I'm actually really into that. So I bought her one and we'll be sending her that shortly. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like Lorac doesn't get enough hype and I don't ever see enough people talking about them. Maybe it's just me, but I think this is really pretty. And if it interests you, I would say to run and grab it because it's only $35 at Ulta. Okay, now I was going to save this for my Skims video, but I feel like it's not really fair because I don't know how many people are going to be able to get a hold of it. But my friend Jessica had been creeping on Nordstrom and let me know that there was quite a few pieces from the Skims Boyfriend collection on the Nordstrom website. So I skipped my little happy ass over there. And sure enough, I was able to get a couple more things. Now, I have shown in one of my previous Skims videos some boyfriend items that I had gotten. The boxers were a little bit too big. My husband stole them. And then I've got some shirts. And so anyways, I was able to grab two more pairs of boxers in my size and this t-shirt. I think this is a long sleeve shirt. But anyways, I'm so excited because these were three colors of three of the items that I had wanted. And I got like the last one in my size in all of them. And at Nordstrom. Anyways, let's go ahead and show you what they are. So this is the boyfriend long sleeve in the shade Coco. And this is a size extra, extra small. Yes. And I am so excited about this. I did just order one of the, I feel like there's like, I'm seeing my like clothes move and stuff over there. And I am so tired. So I'm sorry if I seem like I'm like glancing. I keep thinking I'm seeing stuff, 
But anyways, I just ordered one of the new 30 years. They just dropped their new box tees yesterday and I did order a brown one. So if you want to see what that looks like, I'll post about it over my Instagram. It's going to be here in a couple days. It just wasn't here in time for me to do this video, but I did order the brown one. So I've been super into brown lately and I'm just so excited to wear this. Like it comes down at a good length and I feel like I can wear this and then wear some of the Skims little boy shorts underneath it and just be so comfortable around the house because this material is just everything. And spoiler alert, I did order the Coco Sleep Shorts from like the uh, like just the sleep shorts that I like. So I can wear those with this, but yeah. And then I got the Boyfriend Boxers in a size extra extra small in the Heathered Gray, which I'm actually wearing right now in my soft lounge or my cotton rib leggings. So I got those and then I was also able to get them in black. So I want every single color. I want clay and sienna and cocoa and oxide. And I want every single color, but I don't know when the heck she plans on restocking this collection. So since I was able to grab these couple pieces at Nordstrom's, I was like, you know what? There's a couple more pieces knocked off my list. And so it's just a couple little pieces that I won't have to try and snag whenever she does restock because Lord knows that when that happens, the site, I bet it crashes. Like I, I bet that the site crashes because everyone and their mother and father is waiting for that freaking collection to restock. But anyways, I think that is the end of my video. Uh, this was a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. So now I'm going to clean up all this trash and put away all this stuff. So if you liked my video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like this video, I'm so sorry that I wasted your time. Go ahead and give it a thumbs down. It still helps me out anyways. So, and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. And also click that not little notification bell because I will be doing that Skims video as soon as I can. I'm waiting on that stupid box. My other box is down there in the corner and I'm ready to unpackage that stuff as well. So yeah, don't forget to go follow me on Instagram and Poshmark. I will have that listed down below. And yeah, if you have any questions, then leave them down in the comments and we can talk down there. So yeah, anyways, I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day or night, wherever you are. And I will talk to y'all in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.